long time I've been meaning to start this and here I am now. I feel so excited to be Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Simbi Hart. I am Nigerian and I live in Nigeria. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes, for a very long time I've been meaning to start this and here I am now. I feel so excited to be doing this right now. So very quickly, the channel is going to be about DIYs. Yes, I'm going to be dropping DIY content on sewing, sewing tips, crafts, um, fashion tips. Yes. And then we're going to be talking about health, lifestyle, and every other thing else we just will marry. I will get along. I hope it's going to be a beautiful journey. Yes. I am very positive about this journey already. Yes. So kindly subscribe to my channel support me you know turn on your notification bell so that you can get notified every time i post the content um like share yeah comments yes like share and comments mm -hmm. and if you don't like it you can also dislike it but you know please like share and comment yes and i hope to um drop content fridays yes all i know for now is fridays whether weekly or bi-weekly i'm not sure yet but fridays i'll drop content it could be weekly or bi-weekly out drop content so that's it so this tutorial or this episode or this video is about introduction and um a diy yes a diy and an introduction so the introduction is a very brief part where i told you my new man of that and then the diy yes the diy is going to be about how i made this shirt into this yes it was actually a plain thick black shirt yes a plain black t-shirt rather it was a plain black t-shirt before and i was already it was already getting faded and i really didn't like to wear it anymore until i stumbled on a youtuber's channel while i was trying to get inspiration for my channel or how to start a youtube channel and i found it that yes i could do this because i also remember that there was a time i had to get a white stain of a la I say white stain. I had, to, I had to get a stain of a white lab coat of mine, and the white lab coat had um, a logo of a pharmaceutical company at the on the breast pocket. And I soaked the lab coat in the bleach, and the logo changed from blue to pink. So I'm like, yes, it's going to work. The bleach I have is going to work. I recently got it, just a sachet and. I'm like it's going to work i've used out of it already but I'm, i was positive so i was like let me just try this out let's see how it turns out no harm done i already got i was already tired of wearing the t-shirt already so if i had to do this let's go so i did it i tried it and here's the result and i'm going to be taking you through the journey and the process of how i made this Yes, yes, the YouTuber channel, the YouTuber is um, Austin Robinson. Yes, Austin Robinson was a YouTuber that I watched his channel and I saw I made something like this because it wasn't exactly like this. It turned out, I should say dope, but yes, mine turned out, I think according to the effort I put, <laughs> yes, it turned out this way and I totally loved it. Sorry, did I say love? I totally love it. Like, I still love it. Something I don't want to wear again. And now, I feel comfortable wearing it again. Yes, so, yeah, it is. And so, for this DIY, you're going to be needing a t-shirt. Any color. It could be black. It could be other colors. But yes, a t-shirt. A rubber band. Something to hold the clothes together. Yes, you would see why we need it as we go on so we should hold the clothes together you can improvise it's a diy find ways find things that you can do to hold it together and then you need your bleach in nigeria you would know about the ipo or the jig bleach yes ipo and jig whatever you use to wash your white fabric i don't mean detergents but something you use to take off stain from your white fabric like very stubborn stains yes so jig and ipo if you're in nigeria i don't know anything i think sodium hypochlorite yes so sodium hypochlorite that's what it is I, is it hypochlorite or hypochlorite yeah well, however way it is pronounced sodium hypochlorite sodium hypo something yes that's what it is you're going to need and for the shirts ensure it is like an 100 percent cotton fabric if it's not an 100 percent cotton fabric you can use an 80 or 85 you can use an 80 on it and 85 percent fabric too 
it works and you can also check the label of the fabric of the t-shirt rather to see if it can be bleached if not try something else another fabric that can be bleached so without further ado let's jump right into the video the making of this beautiful shirt yes but do not forget to subscribe to my channel support your girl now i just started and you want to help me yes that's more motivation i would need not like i'm going to stop any this but please subscribe to my channel like my videos share my videos with your friends family foes you can share with your foes too then comment comment let me know what you feel about the video let me know if you like the video and any other thing else that you want to talk about let's chat in the comment section below okay guys here is the t-shirt i'm going to be using so i used both black and this color so i told you, you can use any colored fab any colored fabric so this is the t-shirt the rubber band that you'll be needing and then i got the i um i diluted the bleach in this spray bottle so that it can be easier for me to um apply but as it turned out that bottle really messed up so i used three cups of this to three cups of water for the dilution that's the hypo it's just testing around sachet to ensure that whatever volume of hypo you are using is the same volume of water you are using so you are going to soak the fabric the shirt you are using in water like you rinse it with water cover the whole part with water squeeze it to take the water out and then wring it off very well to take the water out even more and then spread it flat on the floor make sure that it is like it is well laid on the floor on any plain surface anyways because i'm using the floor yeah that's why i'm playing the floor any any plain surface and then you from the center you twist it you try to twist it as i did so that's what you're going to do and ensure that it is firm and it is well packed also ensure you are putting on your clothes that you know that you can mess with or you put on your white fabric because it's white and even if you get to die on nothing's poor okay so that's the rubber band we're going to be using you know earlier i said we're going to be needing a rubber band so here is the rubber band to hold it together so you can figure out if you need to get a rope to tie it if you don't have a rubber band or any other thing you can use to tie it, but not something that is going to bleach as well so now you are going to use the rubber band to make the spiral folded t-shirts into pies yes you make it into pies and then you're going to apply the bleach in each pie not every pie but every other pie you're going to apply the bleach in every other pie so i'm using four rubber bands as you can see just follow the process just the same way i'm doing it the same way you should do it if you want to do it but you can use three rubber bands and just form about six cardinal points yes but you can use four and form eight cardinal points so you have the southwest northwest not the southeast and all of that don't mind me i'm just i was just joking so three or four just the same way i'm doing it so i used four for this for this shirt all right so after that ensure that it is well aligned and you get the same it's like roughly the same size front and back so now i'm applying the bleach but this spray bottle didn't work as well i guess because it was too big for the quantity of bleach i am using so i got i had to change it into a smaller spray bottle but still i would advise you use a precision tip bottle because it makes it easier to dispense the bleach on the fabric and then the spray does not with the spray bottle the bleach gets into the other pie you don't want to apply um, the bleach to but with a precision tip bottle or a dropper you apply precisely on the pie you want to apply to and also you can decide not to um you can decide not to this is me getting another another spray bottle so also you can decide um not to dilute your bleach with water but for mine i diluted it so i would advise you you do not dilute it you use three rubber bands and then get a precision tip bottle okay so now you see as I, you see the way i'm doing it you apply to one pie and the other pie you don't apply to so you apply to every other pie so after that after you have applied appropriately and generously to the front pies not everything i mean every other pie is in front you do the same to the back but take note the same pie you apply to in front is what you are going to apply to at the back so you flip it over and then apply to the same pies the corresponding pies so as you can see that's what i'm doing i'm applying to the corresponding pie normally i'm not supposed to apply so much to the back but because i diluted it and i wasn't convinced that i was going to do the job because of the dilution i i applied more well it turned out 
great as you would see at the end of the video so just keep applying and applying anyways guys do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you're enjoying this and if you feel like you would do this do it and share with me on instagram at miss soria mz underscore s o r i a share with me and drop a comment in the comment section below so that we can discuss this if you have any question just ask me so i'm just trying to apply generously and generously and generously you get right yeah so after you have applied generously you leave it for about five minutes for it to develop so you leave for about five minutes for the fab for the dye to develop and the fabric to take up the dye properly so that's it and then I'm, I'm doing this under a shade you can probably do yours outside or develop outside after you have applied it inside but i did everything under the shade here so as you can see this is a closer picture yes so leave it to develop five minutes later all right so now it's developed after five minutes you take off the rubber band and then you rinse it in at least a lot of water you rinse properly to take up the excess dye um, excess bleach rather to take it off and then you you rinse it properly you squeeze out the excess water and then you go and dry it yes you spread it out so this is it this is what it looks like spread out you can see the spiral shape didn't form properly and i'm i'm guessing it's because of the bleach the dilution i did or the spray bottle i i i really think it's the bleach or uh, the fact that i didn't fold the dress i didn't form the spiral properly it wasn't firm so guys make yours firm and just be careful yes so yeah yeah it is i'm not showing you the front and the back view so i'm just going to leave this too dry and then let's do another one another one another one all right so here is the black tea that the one you saw me wear in the intro video yeah it is yes so i was guessing the dye would change this color because depending on the color fabric to change it to green because this is like on the color but i guess i was wrong it didn't change it to the color so probably they used that color to make the dress from inch, um from the start and i didn't notice it so yeah yeah is what i was saying you rinse the fabric, the t-shirt rather, in water. You squeeze the water out properly. Like, apply pressure, yes. Apply pressure. And then wring it out, yes. You wring it out. Take it out like that and wring it out. You all know how we do this. Exactly, exactly. Wash and lay. <laughs> Just kidding. Wring it out properly. And then lay it flat. Lay it flat on a plain surface. I am using the floor, but if you have a plain surface, a tabletop or something, something flat enough yes a flat surface surface yes spread it out spread it even better than mine spread it out properly and then from the center as i did earlier you turn it you try to form a spiral shape you see just go like that clockwisely from after you pick a fabric like you pick the fabric from the center then clockwisely you turn and turn and turn it becomes hard but just do it i didn't get it at once exactly here's the struggle it didn't happen at once so guys don't don't feel pressure don't worry it's still going to turn out great either ways there are other ways to do um bleached tie dye t-shirts that does not require this but because we are trying to form a spiral pattern that's why we need this folding but if you did if you don't fold properly it's still going to turn out great can just be heartbroken that you didn't get the spiral shape all right, so you fold like that. I'm just trying to put things in place. But I wasn't still, I wasn't contented. Contented. Yes. So I opened it back again. You can see the spiral shape is forming out already. But mm -mm, I want more. Mm -hmm. So I applied more pressure. Don't mind me. So I had to do it again until I felt like, okay, I think this is good. Uh, yes. So you do it again. And then you get the... You get what you want it could be better than this so just get what you want and then we move on to the rubber part okay for this i'm using three rubber bands three just is it three or uh, three guys 
I'm using three rubber bands and um, so you can see so just to form so instead of eight pies this forms six pies yes you're going to form six pies as opposed to forming eight pies if you use four rubber bands so this forms six and then that means you are going to apply the bleach to just three pies out of the six pies but it's going to be alternate in alternate um like alternately does that make sense you get what i mean so every other pie that's what you're going to apply it to just as i said for the other one don't mind me i still stuck with this spray bottle because i didn't have a precision tip bottle or a dropper at that point but you see just keep applying every other pie this black shirt like i was really worried i thought it wasn't going to come out nice but after everything it turned out better than the purple because i kept applying and applying because i felt like it wasn't enough you know for the purple initially there was already a change in color even before i left it to develop but for the black there was no um like appreciable change in color like it was just minimal okay so i brought it out in the sun and i applied more the spray was getting the dye in every way so guys apply to that circle where the rubber band meets that middle point apply very well so this is us going to check the um fabric after we've left our we're waiting for the black to develop so we went to check the other one to see what's Five going minutes up. later all right so i have reached the black just as i did to the purple one yes here's the final result so drying 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 we're going to leave it to dry so you can see it didn't turn out where i was scared the back was okay but the front was as if there was no enough dye for the front this is the back it turned out okay but the front it was as if there wasn't enough dye i was so worried guys i had to even open the spray bottle and pour on it off camera and i almost felt like crying but as god we have it as god we have it it turned out good all right so i'm just trying to show you close off um up close up view and you get what i'm trying to say i'm a voice over noise you okay so this is the purple still waiting for it to dry let's just wait for it to dry <laughs> yeah baby yeah this is it look at the purple even though the spiral shape did not form this is the black look at the spiral shape you can see it but for the purple it didn't turn out like that uh-huh you get it like the back pops guys the back pops but the front mm, but it's not bad not bad like i was already tired of those clothes i was like <laughs> Let like this good guy and rest. But after doing this, I, I I wanted to wear it every day. So guys, try it out. Try it out and share with me at Missoria on Instagram. M Z underscore S O R I A. Share with me your pictures, your DIY pictures, videos. Let me see. Don't worry. You might not get it at once, but you would get it eventually. This my this was my first try. I didn't get it at once, but with the black, it was okay. And with that, we come to the end of the tutorial. I hope you learned a thing or two about making this. And then a take home or a takeaway from this is that you can do it for yourself and you can commercialize it. You are thinking, how? Commercialize it. No, for real, you can actually commercialize it. This t shirt costed, I think, it cost me about a thousand naira. Yes, a thousand naira. Now up to two dollars, I think, or roughly two dollars. That's what the t shirt cost me when I got it there. And imagine getting a bleach of if you if you get a bigger bottle, I really don't know. I just a bigger bottle of maybe seven hundred naira or so. Yes, you get a bigger bottle and you dilute or use it raw, whichever way, you can make about 10 clothes, 10 t-shirts from that. And you can resell for 1,500 Nera to 1,500 Nera. 
or 2,000 Naira, depending on what your expense, what you spend on it. But I would advise that you reduce the expense, your expenses, yes, like, so that you can reduce your selling price, yes, so that people can patronize and you can see how it goes. So, that's the take-home. Anyways, that's the end of this video. I hope you had fun. I hope you enjoyed it because I had fun filming it. Because I had fun filming because I had fun filming this. Yes, I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe, guys. Yes, turn on your notification bell so that I can get notified every time I post content. Like, share, and subscribe. And comment. Yes, comment. I'm not used to this yet. But yes, like, share, and comment. I would really, really appreciate to read your comments on this video. And I hope it's been helpful.